let's make sure volume's working. Should be. And it is. Wonderful. Alright. Just gonna make sure we have everything and we will get started. Brush. Wonderful. Good. Tufts for the base. Excellent. All right, so we shall begin. Today, we are painting the one, the only, the crab. Uh, this is the the leader of the Ideneth Deepkin Underworld's Warband. Some people may disagree and say he's not actually the leader, but I promise you he is. You can trust me on that. Uh, and we're going to do his base also, but we kept them separate because I don't want to get all the the base or the crab colors on the base. So we're going to start off with a little bit of a blend, but it's an easy blend. So if you want to replicate it, don't worry at all. We're going to use Blood Angels Red and Griff Hound Orange. We're going to give them both a shake. Make sure they're shook up nice and well, nice and good. One of those words. And I'm going to go ahead and open them both. And then I'm going to get two brushes. And one is going to be the red brush and one is going to be the orange brush. We're going to start with the orange. And we're going to get more on our brush than we would normally want. And we're going to put it down here. Just above the knee, basically. Like that. And we're doing more than we would typically want. A, so it stays wet longer, so we have time to blend it but also so that we have enough enough color to actually do the blending. So we're just going to do it on all of the legs here, and we're also going to do it on the big claw. Just make sure it's on every leg. You do have to be quick when doing it like this. I could have done each individual leg and then the claw, and that would have worked as well, and probably been more advisable so that it it's not drying this whole time, but that's okay. So then we're switching to the other brush, and this is just so we don't have to worry about our, uh, like, spending the time to clean the brushes between colors. So then we're just going to mix it down each knee here, or down each leg, rather, making sure to get a nice mixture of these colors. Do it on the bottom as well. There we go. And then we'll come to the claw. So we're going to... We're getting these sort of mixed with this step, but then we're going to go back to our orange. We can rinse our red brush real quick. Then we're going to go back to our orange. Oh, we're going to throw our red brush on the ground, apparently. And then we're just going to come down like this and swipe the orange into the red. Same thing over here. Might have to rinse the brush a couple times. It's really now just working it, working it on every spot that we want the blend to happen until we have a nice orange to red transition. And then, once we think we have it, we just continue with the red and apply that to the rest of the miniature. It can be a little finicky. Uh, blends always are, but you can always... The uh, contrast paint is thin, so you can always just go back and reprime and do it again if you make a critical mistake. But most often, you can just keep working at it, keep applying color, and eventually you'll get it right. And on this guy also, he's so small that the blend doesn't have to apply across a very large area. And so it's not as big of a deal. And I'm actually going to do one more blend here, right across his back here. So I'm just going to flood the area with more red than we would necessarily want, typically. And then take the orange and just come down into the red like this. If 
there's too much red on the brush just rinse it off and go back to a pot of orange same thing on the back here there we go and then we're just gonna tidy up a couple spots there and there we go so now we have we have blends on the legs here we have a blend on his crest if it'll focus there we go and a blend on the claw so now we find the brush that went on the floor there it is wonderful you don't have to throw your brush on the floor but you may find it useful if you're trying to replicate this paint scheme um and then we're gonna notice that we haven't got all the red on him down here He's glued kind of strangely to this base just because of how he fits into his other base. But, uh, it won't be a problem. There we go. All right, so we have our blends, our initial blends anyway, done. So we can set him off to the side. He's going to need a while to dry. And we'll go on to working on the base. So we're going to start with Skeleton Horde, our trusty sand color. And just gonna spread this out. It can hit other things, it's not a big deal. But just making sure that we cover all the sand. There we go. Wonderful. So then we're going to take, let's see, what color do we want to do this? We will take some, I think I'll do this. We'll use some Stegodon Scale Green. Why not? And we're going to apply this to the barnacles here, which there are a couple here, and then there are some on the crab also. But we'll paint them onto these first. go and then the crab himself our contrast paint is starting to dry now so we can as long as we're careful we can apply this without any risk of mixing go so this guy still has to dry but this will basically be dry now and it's still a little wet in a couple places as you can see but it's mostly dry so we can start in on this stuff so we'll start off with gray dawnstone in this case eh, let's go a little darker ashen gray And I'm just going to paint this, whatever this is here. Not sure exactly. Kind of looks like a shield, but it also has like hinges on the side or something. Maybe it's a, a hatch to a uh, Ideneth Deepkin submarine. I'm not sure. Whatever it is, it's going to be gray. We're going to spruce it up a little bit, but. There we go. Then we've got some other random things around here. I think I'm going to use a combination of these two colors. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Fenrisian Gray and Nagaroth Knight. I think they look pretty good together. 
And I'm just going to use these on the stones that are, I think they're stones, that are gathered around on his base. So I'll just pick some out with purple. And then I'll pick the other ones out in the blue. go purple is a that purple is a very good color I like it a lot and we're gonna go to our Fenrisi and gray and put it on the rest of the pebbles there we go all right, then we've got these vases over here. I think I'll start them in Rackarth Flush. And I'm gonna make them metallic, but I wanna start them in Rackarth Flush first because they've been sitting on the bottom of the ocean so they may not be in the best quality and so we're basically going to dry brush them with metallics afterward to sort of make it look like they're kind of still metallic but have been severely corroded all right well we'll let that dry for a bit and we'll go back to crab man himself so now we're going to take some what color do i want to use i might actually go back to rack our flesh to be honest I think I will. And just we're just going to pick out and get my small brush for this. The back of his carapace here, we're just going to go along doing some little hash lines like this. Just following the texture that's sort of already there. And just make him feel a little more realistic. Just making them uneven. Just little stabs at the at the edge basically. Some of them can be longer, some of them can be shorter. There we go. That looks about right. So then we're gonna come in and basically on all these points he's got here we're just gonna draw a line with this straight up each one. Good. And then this big one here in the middle as well. That'll work. And then right on the on the teeth half of the claws. We're just gonna put some little kind of like we did on the back of the carapace, just little little hatches along here. Good. And then we're going to do these knee joints. Well, I was going to say we're going to do these knee joints, but I think that's going to take away from our blend a little bit too much. So I think I will not do that. But I'm going to paint these little fangs here, whatever they are. 
paint those in in this color. Good. Now let's check on our base. Base is still drying, so we'll keep working on this guy. We're going to take our Stegodon scale green again and paint in the little barnacles that are up on his body. He's got quite a few up here on his carapace. Alright, last one I believe. Oh, nope, there's one right here. Now it's the last one. So now what we're going to do Let's take some orange, in this case, ooh, Fire Dragon Bright. And basically, not on the carapace where we put those hashes, but everywhere else, we're going to just edge highlight with this color. So just right along here. It's mostly on the connection points between two panels of armor, as it were. Got a little bit of the red that was still wet on the brush. I just rinse it off there. Just being very careful with all edge highlights. Got a rogue hair on my brush, just kind of deal with that. And then right along here, just like we did the hashes with the Rackarth flesh on the back, we're going to do them here on the front of the carapace. Just like this. Now we're going to carry that around back here. And the same thing on this side. Good. And then these little parts holding the mandibles or whatever they are, we'll get those. Alright, I'm just going to check. Ah, the legs is somewhere else we'd want to edge highlight. We're just going to do the top one, the top joint. We're not going to do the bottom one. It'll help our blend stay more visible if we only do this top one. We want to see that pure orange down there on the legs. Alright, so then I'm just gonna go around and anywhere that he has these little protrusions, he's he's got some like mini claws or something here. And just touch those with this orange. Maybe they're crab warts or maybe they're just little barnacles that haven't formed yet. I'm not really sure. He's got like a battle scar right here. I'm going to put a little bit of this right underneath it. There we go. He's got some little spikes on his legs here. And another little one right there. Alright. Then we're going to take some... Let's see what color do I want to do it in. 
Maybe this color? Mm, maybe not. Oh, actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take some Aethermatic Blue. If it'll focus. There we go. And I'm going to be very, very careful with it. Very careful. And I'm going to put it in this sigil he's got here on his head. Or on the top of his carapace, I guess. Just being very careful to not spill out onto the rest of the crab. There we go. So now his his sigil is a little more well defined. All right. So then I want to take. Let's check our. Yeah, our base is nice and dry. He's not quite done. Uh, where is the black? I'm just gonna use some black Templar because it's on hand and ready to go. And we're just gonna touch the eyes in here. Just to darken them up a little bit. The Black Templar will flow off the very top of the eye and give us this nice little point of light, sort of, which is great for eyes. I'm actually going to take this and black line these carapace panels back here. And give the back of him a little more definition. So it's basically like edge highlighting, except instead of on the edge, you're in a crevice. You just want to treat it like an edge highlight, though. Go very slow if you need to. And make sure to stay right in that crevice. I find that edge highlights and panel highlights like this goes are smoother for me if I go in one smooth motion but you by no means have to do it that way you can go you know you can like do little tiny hash marks all the way down that works whatever works for you really it's just how I find it to be most effective all right so our crab is basically done so let's go on to the base so I'm gonna take some what do we got here retributor armor and storm host silver Give them both a good shake. I'll go with Retributor Armor first, and I'm going to use my medium brush for this. I'm going to get most of it off on my paper towel here, and then just kind of tap and slash and just get it on this cup like that. Maybe there's sand settled in the bits of it or maybe it's just deteriorated or whatever then I'm going to do the same thing with the Stormhost Silver I rinsed my brush between these colors but wouldn't be the end of the world if you didn't because they are both metallic and as they degrade they might change color so same thing here just stabbing so there you can see we have sort of metallic but we have that brown or tan underneath it giving it that slightly tarnished or degraded look. So that's what we wanted. So, we just got a couple more things here. I'm going to take some Agrax Earth Shade. And apply it to this shield here. Nothing crazy, just regular old Agrax Earth Shade. I'm going to do the same with the barnacles. And the same with these little pebbles, just to, to dull them down a little bit. They're going to be under the crab, so it's not a, not a main focal point of the, of the model. Not a big deal. And then, last step, basically, two last steps. I'm going to take just a tiny bit, no, three last steps because of the base room. Tiny little bit of null oil. Just a tiny bit. My brush still has some water on it from rinsing it off. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that into both of these, onto both of these metallic bits right here. Just a little bit. There we go. Maybe down in there. All right. 
Then we're going to take our tufts, which in this case are alien turquoise tufts. I thought these looked kind of like coral. That's why I chose them. And get a little bit of super glue if we know where it is. Here it is, hiding. Just going to grab, I think I'll just use two small ones here. And there's little holes for his feet, so I want to make sure to not block those. I'll put one right here, I think. And another little one. And that'll go right here. Excellent. Then I will gently take the crab off of this base. Just slide the exacto knife under the part that's glued on here. There we go. And then place him. Make sure all the holes line up, and they do. And voila, we have our crab. I'm not going to paint the base room right this second because I want him to be completely dry before I hold him to paint the base room. But that will basically do it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, either, whether you watch live or watching far in the future, I appreciate it either way. Uh, on Wednesday, I'll be back. We'll be painting the fish from this warband. Nice. Nice easy week this week, just crab and a fish. And then Kragnos video will be releasing eventually. He's all done, but I just have to make the video, so we're all set there. Uh, decided not to film uh, Croak because it was just going to be too much, but I will put up a video talking about my process for him. And then, yeah, pretty soon we're going to be moving on to AOS 3 models. So again, thank you everybody for watching, and I will see you next time.